Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to create HubSpot blog posts from Google Sheets. Here, my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new title and the content in my Google Sheets for a blog, automatically by using that same response, a blog should be created in HubSpot CRM and then the same blog should automatically be published. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Sheets and HubSpot and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So here we have Google Sheets in our trigger and then we have HubSpot CRM and once again HubSpot CRM in our action. So we are going to connect all of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create HubSpot blog post from Google Sheets. So here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new blog content and a title in this particular spreadsheet, automatically by using that response, a new post should be created in HubSpot CRM website with that same blog. Okay, so whenever I'm going to add the title and the content, automatically the blog should be created and then it should also be published on my HubSpot CRM website. And we are going to automate the entire process with the help of Fably Connect by setting up a connection between Google Sheets and HubSpot CRM. And that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills. This is the homepage of Fably Connect where we can reach by typing the URL fably.com slash connect. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As you can find, I have multiple folders here. I have created them in order to save my workflows accordingly on the dashboard. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create HubSpot blog post from Google Sheets. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this Google Sheets to HubSpot CRM folder. Okay, now let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is a trigger and the other is action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose we are going to take Google Sheets in our trigger and HubSpot CRM in our action. And we want that as soon as we are going to add a new title and the content in our Google Sheets, automatically by using that same response, first the block should be created and then the same block should be published in HubSpot CRM website. Okay, now here we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger. Because that means when the block content is added in Google Sheets, then only it is being published in HubSpot CRM otherwise not okay now after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step now first of all we are going to select our trigger application that is google sheets so let's select that and now we will select our trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger so new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here as we want that whenever a new row will be added in google sheets automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli connect so we have received a webbook url along with some instructions which we need to follow step by step in order to connect our google sheets with Pabli Connect. I am going to take you towards my Google Sheets but first of all let us copy the webbook URL. So this is the spreadsheet which I have prepared. The name is new blogs. It contains three fields blog title, content and the link. And I want that as soon as I am going to add a new row in this particular spreadsheet and I will add a title and the content of the blog, automatically the workflow should get triggered. And after the blog will be created and published in HubSpot CRM, automatically the link of that blog should be added in front of the title as well as the content in this particular column C. Here first of all let me add a title of a new blog so the title is importance of automation in marketing now i'm going to enter the content for the blog so i have entered the title and i have entered the content of the blog over here now i'm going to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli connect so that i could send this response towards Pabli connect okay so let's go towards extensions and then we have to go towards and then here we can find the option of add-ons we need to click on this get add-ons and it is going to take us towards google workspace marketplace now here we need to search for Pabli connect webbooks 
and this is the add-on which we need to install in Google Sheets. Okay, so as you can find, I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks. So I'm just going to cross this. And once you will install the Pabli Connect Webbooks add-on, you need to refresh the spreadsheet so that you could find the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks here under Extensions. As I could find the options, let's go towards Initial Setup. And basically, in order to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, we need to do an initial setup in which we need to provide two details, webbook URL and trigger column. So first of all, let us paste the URL which we have already copied from Pabli Connect and the next is the trigger column. Now, the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered up till this column, then the response will be automatically sent towards Pabli Connect and the workflow is going to trigger. So here I have three columns you can find in the background of the spreadsheet, column A, column B and column C. I want to keep column B as my trigger column as I want that as soon as I I'm going to enter the data in the spreadsheet up till column B that means whenever I'm going to enter the data up till the content of the blog then the response should be automatically captured in Pabli Connect so here I'm going to enter column B as my trigger column now let's click on send test to send this test data towards Pabli Connect and here the data is sent so we'll submit the initial setup and the setup is configured successfully so let's go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can find that we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details, the trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, content, as well as the blog title. This means that our connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successful. We will go back towards Google Sheets and we have to do one more thing over here. We once again have to go towards extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, and this time we need to click on send on events. This means that now whenever we are going to add a new row up till column B, that means up till trigger column in our Google Sheets, automatically the data will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. Okay. Now here we will go back towards Pabli Connect and we will move further towards our next action step. And our objective is to create a blog with a response from Google Sheets in HubSpot CRM. So we will select our action application as HubSpot CRM. And now the action event will be create a blog post. Now let's click on connect and now we need to click on this add new connection button to build a new connection with HubSpot CRM account. Okay. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now we need to click on this connect with HubSpot CRM and here I'm going to select my account and we will click on choose account button. And with this, we can find that our authorization has become successful. So let's move further here. We need to enter the details in these fields in order to create the blog. Okay, so here, first of all, it is asking us the name of the blog. We have already received all the details related to the blog from our Google Sheets. So we will simply map the data from there. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We want to map the name of the blog, which is given over here, importance of automation in marketing. So let's select it and it is mapped. Now, when we have mapped this name, it is going to change with each and every response. That means it has become dynamic now. So now whenever we are going to add a new row, a new title in our Google Sheets, Sheets, automatically the title in this field is going to be replaced with a new title of that new response but in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response then the workflow will get stuck therefore in order to automate the entire process we use mapping now the next it is asking us is the post body that means the content of the blog so here we are going to map the content as well okay the next is the post summary here is the blog author id content group id okay some of the details are not mandatory over here so i'm just ignoring them for now here it is asking us for the featured image url if you want to attach a particular image along with the blog you can also map the url of that image over here in this field now because i'm not using any image so here i'm going to select false in the use featured image option okay the next which we have to enter is the meta description so here we need to also provide some meta tags for our blogs okay in this field because i have not received the same from my earlier response that is from google sheets response therefore here i am going to use the title of my blog in the meta tags okay so this is the title importance of automation in marketing i'm going to map the same title over here but in your case you can definitely add the tags according to your choice by taking them from the google sheets response okay if you want you can also add the published date over here and the next is the slug that means the post url so here also i'm going to map the title of my blog now after entering all these details let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received one id this means that the blog is created successfully on our hubspot crm website so let's go and check so this is my hubspot crm website let me refresh the page and yes here is the blog importance of automation in marketing okay so we can find that the status of this blog is draft for now so i'm going to change it to publish by adding one more action step here in the workflow okay so let's click on this add action step button and now we are going to once again select HubSpot as our action application. 
and in the action event we need to select this time publish or unpublish blog post so now we have created the blog from google sheets now the next step will be to publish this blog which we have recently created so let's click on connect and you will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection and the connection is successful so now it is asking us the blog post id as well as the action that will be schedule publish okay so let us enter these details but before that i am going to add one more action step here in between and here i am going to use delay in the action step. step why i am doing this because it might take some time of 50 to 60 seconds to for our blog to be shown here in the website okay so after the blog will be shown here then only it is going to be published therefore i am going to apply a delay over here and i am going to delay the workflow for about 1 minute okay so let me click on connect delay is a feature by pably which allows us to delay our workflow after a specific step so here i want to delay the workflow after the creation of blog and i want to delay it for 1 minute Okay done let's click on save and send test request button and here the workflow is delayed for 1 minute so now whenever a new blog will be created from google sheets and hubspot crm after 1 minute it will be published so that it will get sufficient time to be created here in the website now we will publish the blog for that we need to provide the blog id and here we can find that the blog is created we have also received the id from our earlier response this is the id analytics page id let us map it and done Okay the next is the action which we have already selected schedule publish now let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response so now i'm going to take you towards my hubspot crm website and you will refresh the page over here and we can find that the status of the blog is changed from draft to publish that means the blog is published over here okay so now whenever a new row will be added a new title and content will be added in our google sheets automatically a blog will be created in hubspot crm and then the same blog will be published after 1 minute in the website okay now here i am going to add one more action step i also want to add the link url which we have received from the blog to be added and updated in this particular column in front of the title and content Okay for that once again I am going to connect my Google Sheets with Pably Connect so let's select Google Sheets in the action application and the action event here will be update cell value because we want to update the link okay let's click on connect and here from the given options I am going to select existing connection only as we have already built the connection with Google Sheets so let's click on save and now Google Sheets is once again connected with Pably Connect so we will move further here we need to select the spreadsheet name the name of my spreadsheet is new blogs so we will select it from the drop down and because i have only created one sheet here in the spreadsheet so sheet 1 is also selected over here now the next and the very important step it is asking us the range okay in what range you want to update the cell value here we have to provide the range and the give and the example is given over here for example your range is this c5 the column name plus row index okay so here my column name is column c and the row is 2 so column name is going to be same each time with each and every response but row is going to change in our case because when i am going to add a new title and the content in row 3 the row index will be 3 when we are going to add a new row the row will be 4 so that's why we have to enter the range in which the row index will be dynamic for that what we are going to do i am going to enter column c manually over here and i am going to use my previous step that is my google sheets response in order to map the row index so i have mapped the row index over here okay in this way we have made the range dynamic so now every time the column will be same but the row will get changed according to each and every new response the next is the value what value you want to put or update in the cell we want to update the link that we have received from hubspot crm response this is the absolute url so i'm going to map it and done now let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response let's go and check on our google sheets and yes the link is automatically added in front of the content this means that our workflow is perfectly successful now what we are going to do i'm going to test this workflow once again here i'm going to add a new title and the content in this particular sheet and as soon as we will do that automatically the blog will be created in hubspot crm and it will be published and within seconds the link will be added in front of the title okay so let's do that So this is my title trends of social media marketing 2024 here i'm going to enter the content as well so here i have entered the content and as soon as we have done that we can find that here is the link of the blog this means that the blog is created and published as well so let's go and check on website of hubspot crm yeah. let's refresh the page and yes here we can find that a new blog is created and published trends of social media marketing 
This means that the workflow is perfectly successful and it is running perfectly fine. So let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow. So we have taken five simple steps, trigger and four actions. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken HubSpot CRM, Delay by Pabli and Google Sheets. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that, that now whenever we are going to add a new title and the content in our Google Sheets for a blog, automatically by using that same response, a new blog will be created in HubSpot CRM. And then after one minute, automatically it will be published also on the website and then the link of that same blog will be automatically updated in front of the content of the blog okay in this way you can very easily create this automation by following the same steps and you can even use the same workflow which i have created i will also attach the link of this workflow in the description of the video up till then thank you for watching not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.